Brian, thanks so much. As Indiana commits millions of dollars to a new EV battery plant in Kokomo, some lawmakers are saying not so fast. As Fox 59's Hannah Adamson reports, some lawmakers say there's little evidence these big tax breaks are giving Hoosiers big returns. This week, the Legislative Services Agency highlighted 10 of 65 tax incentives it's reviewing to the Fiscal Policy Interim Committee. State Representative Gregory W. Porter says House Democrats have been asking for the exact number of jobs these tax incentives have created for the past eight years. He says they've yet to receive a concrete answer. Tax incentives that, that, were, that have been given there, uh, what is the return on investments? There's no direct proof that we actually gain any particular businesses because of these incentives. Some Republicans say the proof is in the pudding. State Representative Jeff Thompson says Indiana ranks number one in the Midwest for economic development and that more in-depth study is needed before a conclusion on tax incentives overall can be made. We'll try to clarify that exactly to what degree and, and put numbers to that. So again, more study, more information, more data. This as the IEDC has committed up to $60 million in tax credits to Stellantis for a second EV battery plant. Secretary of Commerce David Rosenberg says the IEDC is investing in jobs which have an average hourly wage nearly 20 percent higher than the national average. 18 months ago we had zero semiconductor uh, companies here, now we have seven. 18 months ago we had zero EV battery facilities. Now we have three. Our pipeline is nearing $100 billion of potential investment. However, State Senator Fadi Kadura says he's concerned the numbers aren't there to confirm this investment is the right one. My concern is not that we're attracting that project. My concern is that there's not enough information to assure the public that we used your money to the best of our ability. Reporting in Indianapolis, Hannah Adamson, Fox 59 News. Hannah, thanks. The Legislative Services Agency says its second review cycle, once completed, will cover tax incentives from 2019 through 2025.